So Dansby is back with some more ranked season Diamond Dynasty. So I actually have a lot of debuts this game. We got Curtis Granderson, um, Ian Kinsler, Reggie Jackson, I think Giovanni Soto, and Doug Drabeck. Oh, there's also a surprise pinch hitter debut, guys, that uh, we're going to show at some point uh, during this game. So this was an actually really interesting game against the Busta Nuts. Yes, yeah, you heard me correctly. This guy's name is... Bust nuts, and we get a nice little teleport pitch, but it was a ball four, so that's good for me. So here's Granderson's first at bat. So there's gonna be a few of these uh, debuts. We have to steal the base here with Trey Turner. Trey Turner is a beast. He's actually getting close to 100 stolen bases for me and the squad. And just like that, we do a little hit and run, baby. And just like that, that's a run. Thank you, Mr. Granderson, Mr. Curtis Granderson, and his first at bat is able to slam in an RBI for the Bulldogs, the Brooklyn Bulldogs. We're trying to steal another base here, and um, I think I'm actually dead here. Yeah, we were actually not trying to steal the base. Well, actually, I probably was. I've been having a lot of issues lately trying to steal bases. Don't get me wrong, my percentage is high, but the thing is is that I've been trying to, like, uh, steal the bases. I'm just getting really, really bad jumps all the time, regardless of how good my guy's stealing aggressiveness is and base running ability is. So it's kind of frustrating as Freddie Freeman goes the opposite way here for a ground rule devil. But yeah, it's been really frustrating, but I've been also ready to hit and run in those situations where my runners gets gets a really, really, you know, crappy jump as long as I like the pitch. And uh, Ian Kinsler here on his first at bat as a member of the Broken Bulldogs just lines out. So here's Doug Drabeck making his first pitching appearance in ranked seasons. And I gotta tell you guys, if you don't have Doug Drabeck, he's a pretty damn good card. You're not gonna get a lot of strikeouts with him, but his pitches have a ton of movement, especially that sinker that you just saw right there. That sinker is a really, really nasty pitch. And I generally don't like sinker ballers in MLB the show. I mean, I really didn't like them last year in 16, although I know guys like Cardinal Bird 5 like really, really love the sinker ball pitches for whatever reason. I usually can't pitch well with them, and I think I actually make a mistake here with the sinker. But this is my fault. I leave, the, leave this up in the zone, and Reggie Jackson takes me oppo. And I... Damn, Mr. October. And I was like, well, you know, it is what it is. It sucks. Reggie Jackson actually has been killing me. Killing me online, guys. So unfortunately, I did have a few more games that I had played in ranked season, and some of the files kind of got corrupted. So I could post them, but they're kind of like really like choppy at times sometimes it happens with the Elgato so I actually wound up losing a win and two losses so yeah I've actually uh, added a bunch of losses onto my thing so right now I think I'm not gonna tell you how many wins I have because you know I want to show the videos but we did actually get to uh, six losses because we, we lost two more games so we are at six losses right now but I'm gonna give you a little uh, a little, little surprise if you guys haven't seen already on my Twitter account if you already don't if you don't follow my Twitter you guys should check out my Twitter it's it's Dansby, I-T-S-D-A-N-S-B-Y, that is my Twitter handle, I actually tweeted something out, I'm actually getting pretty damn close to that World Series. So, you guys can see we're already in like the fifth inning here, because literally nothing happened in those, in those early innings, literally nothing. There were like no hits at all for either team, it was just really, really good pitching, and really for the most part, this game was a really, really well, I um, mean, pitched well game, well pitched game, I should say. And we got Curtis Granderson here, lefty on, lefty crime, you know, Camden's Yards, Oriole Park at Camden's Yards, it's a very short porch there, I got the bat, I actually think it was early on that one, let's, let's see, let's check that out, oh, we're not able to see it, I'm pretty sure I was actually early on that one, maybe I wasn't, but I was able to square that bad boy up and send it over the fence to give us a nice 3-1, three, 3-1 three, three to one lead against the Bust the Nuts, <laughs> so he's got CeCe's Bathory going, I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of issues, Facing CC Sabathia in this game. I know I've said this in a previous video, but I generally don't pitch I mean don't hit very well against them. I actually did play a game today earlier where I did pretty well and the guy was actually going for the um, at least when he thought he was gonna lose. He kept the CC in longer because I think he's going to try to get the complete games and ranked seasons right now. You have to get like 15, that's the new thing for May. So every every month they add new things for ranked seasons, battle royale, and they're all timed kind of missions. So he gets the first two uh, guys on right here, and I'm like, oh, well, it's beginning, you know, because it always seems to happen like that in this game. It's like you're holding the team down for a while, and they just, you know, they're just able to come back. You know, it's like, okay, now this guy can hit all of a sudden. He couldn't hit for like six innings, now he can hit. So I bring Glenn Perkins here to face uh, Curtis Granderson. It's Curtis Granderson? Maybe it's not Curtis Granderson. Oh, it is Curtis Granderson. And look at this! 
He doesn't cover base! Kinsel does not cover second base. It takes me forever to throw the ball there. I should just went the long way. I feel like an idiot. And of course, he brings up Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. I missed my... Actually, no, I didn't miss my spot. It was a good pitch. And look at this! He drives it into the gap for a double. And he's going to tie this game. He actually starts to send this guy home right here. Relay throw. He went too far down the line. Soto was able to actually gun him back down, going back. And we're able to keep this a tie game. But I was... Super pissed because if I would have just thrown it to first, it would have been a good to go. And then Reggie Jackson for me is able to rip a ball from the middle. So I actually think everybody that was debuting this game got a hit, which I think is pretty damn uh, awesome. Soto gets a hit right here. We're starting to get things going. We want to get this lead. I, I was thinking about sending him to third, and I was like, you know what? Let's not risk it. It is nice to get a runner to third with less than two outs, but I was like, it's not worth the risk here. So we bring in uh, Melvin Upton Jr. here who uh, I've been starting most of the time. And, well, I just wanted to put him on the bench this time. And I thought I got all of this. You got one of those swings, like it was a really good time swing and like center green kind of deal. So let's see what happened here. You know, I was like, I was like what? But if you take a look, it was actually a pretty decent uh, pitch he did there. As I got Jackie Robinson here, here's my other one. Look at that, it's pretty damn, it was pre I pretty much squared it up even though it was a good pitch. And Jackie Robinson, first pitch swinging. I was sitting on that slider, man. I was sitting on it, and our uh, and Jackie Robinson's able to put it in. So yes, guys, I was able to actually get win ten games in the events, going a ten uh, game win streak, and able to get that Jackie Robinson card. A lot of people are like he's, he's eighty two silver, man. That's a crappy reward. He's only at eighty two silver because he's listed as a first baseman. All right, because Jackie Robinson's rookie year, he played primarily first base because the guy that was playing second base didn't want to give his position up, and he'd been like kind of entrenched there for quite a while, so they let him keep his position for that first year. You know, I don't know if there's anything else. I'm probably there were some racist things going on there as well. Why well, he didn't want to give up his position. You know, but they didn't give him second base until the next year. But his secondary position in the game is actually second base. So you can play him at second base. And as second baseman, he's like a diamond level second baseman, guys. So he's actually a pretty fantastic card. Although, so don't get fooled by that 82 silver because he's a really, really, really solid card he's a fantastic defender he's fast as hell he hits lefties fantastic and he's okay against righties i mean he doesn't have much power against righties but he's like 77 contact he's a really 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 uh solid card and i wouldn't sleep on it. if you get that card for cheap in the market i would uh try to get it so we do have the lead right here and uh kinsler i pop up here you know kinsler isn't having the best game although i, th I do think he has a hit and look at this anthony rizzo drops the ball what is this Look at him! He, he, he's channeling, I know it's not quite like a, a Bill Buckner kind of deal, but it was like, you know, get that, that's an easy out to make, my man. And you're gonna just open up the floodgates now? I felt good about it too, I really did. So, we have Kinsler on uh, first base here, we got Reggie up now, and uh, I was like, you know what, his Reggie did something good for him, my Reggie has got me a single, Reggie's gotta do something good for me. You know what I'm saying? He's gotta do something good for me. You know, I'm debuting all these guys at the same time, because I pretty much just started doing all the conquests. Not started it, but finished doing all the conquests. So I got a lot of guys from my uh, from my squad right now. I mean, I see these players all the time, so I don't want to only use these players. But I want to get them in the rotation, debut a few new guys for you guys to see. Because I've been using a lot of the same players over and over again. Although I have switching up. I pretty, I, I pretty much aren't going to have too many guys that are going to be a mainstay all the time. But David Wright, guys, he's not going anywhere. He's staying there pretty much the whole time. Unless I get that George Brett card. Or um, that Cal Ripken. Oh no, the Cal Ripken's a shortstop. What am I saying? So yeah, pretty much unless I get that George Brett card, then maybe I'll uh, I'll mix those guys up a little bit. But I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get that George Brett card. So we will have to see because that George Brett card is a freaking monster card too. Although I still think David Wright is a little better. And Reggie is able to bank this one off the wall. Yeah, actually, he plays this off the wall very nicely. It holds me to a single. Although I probably would have been safe if I chose to go to second. It just wasn't worth it with, with nobody out. And Giovanni Soto! With the insurance run, Giovanni Soto's having himself a pretty good game. As pretty much all the guys that debuted, except for I think Kinsler, had really, really good games. So right here, I still have Herrera up. I was jamming the button to try to get my, uh, you know, to bring the menu up so I could bring in a pinch hitter. But he got a damn pitch off, and I was like, well, she. So we got Kyle Seeger up here. And Kyle Seeger's one of my favorite players in this game. Of course, I go around on animation, which I did not go around. And I was like, all right, all right, it is what it is. Let's just try to, you know. Look for a pitch, just try to foul things off, look for a fastball, adjust a breaking ball. You know, and he gives me a breaking ball, so I, what I do, I adjust, I foul it off, wait for a better pitch, and then he leaves me this guy. Ugh, did not get it in enough, my friend. Gave me a fastball inner portion, but really, 
you know, left it out a little bit too much over the plate, and I just bust this game wide open in the eighth inning. Look at that beautiful, beautiful swing placement. Seven, this, the runs keep coming. You know, sometimes when it rains, it pours right here. And Granderson on the hit and run is able to get Turner over to the third. So that's the second time I've hit and run with Granderson this game, and he's actually been able to uh, come through. This Granderson card is a really good card, too. And David is having a rare... Bad game for me, but I just want to get this run in. I had a feeling he was going to be throwing me a breaking ball. He did. I was actually a little bit late because I was expecting him to be on the outside corner. Fooled me a little bit, but it's good enough to get the run in. And we were able to take a six-run lead. So after this, I was like, okay, I'm not going to bring in any of my closing pitchers. Let's just bring in uh, Jerry Blevins. Although in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have brought in Jerry Blevins because I only have two lefties in my bullpen. And your bullpen does go game to game. So if you use a reliever all the time, he's going to be really, really tired the next game. Which is good that they put that in there, because if not, you'd probably only have to use like two or three in a game ever. Or you could just use them all every game. I, like, I've seen people do, take their relievers out in like the third inning when you're down by a run. It just doesn't make, you know, any sense to take your starter out then. You're, you're just killing yourself for uh, for future games. But we have Blevins in here, who's actually one, probably one of the best left-handed relievers in the game that's not a closing pitcher. So I would definitely say get Jerry Blevins. He's relatively cheap. He's got like 99 break. He doesn't throw hard, but he's got some uh, pretty uh, nasty stuff, especially when you're facing somebody that has like a really quick bat and can't figure out how to, to you know, hit the slow stuff. It's good to go. So we got our last batter here facing uh, Reggie Jackson here, and uh, <laughs> I think we just like kind of just overmatched him here. We were just mixing up pitches, and I was doing a pretty good job mixing up pitches this game, uh, putting cutters in different places, sometimes putting pitches where you don't expect them to be. Just looking to get him, and we're able to get Reggie right here. Strike three in the dirt. And that's it, guys. Do me a favor. You liked it? You liked the video? Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Later.